We're ready to roll now as Ryan Medvitz on the hill number 17 delivers inside and behind the plate, Andrew Matrician. Count now two balls and no strikes as we're underway. It'll be Ben Chinsky to be followed by Tyler Palermo and then Aaron Yanish. Got Joe Hoover down at third. Strike call, Matt Turco. Is it short? Kayla Ashton at second, Dan Hudock behind the plate, or excuse me, uh, Dan Hudock at first, Ashton at second, Turco at short, and Hoover at third. And the pitch coming. Ball outside, three balls and one strike. Three balls, one strike. And the pitch. Ball four. So we got a runner aboard, leadoff man aboard on a walk. Joe Hoover, number 24, left-handed third baseman. You won't see that too often. He was penciled in originally as the left fielder. And Tyler Palermo is driving in. Ball outside. One ball, no strikes. Four. John Hudock's ball club and his assistants are Craig Hoover, Tim Turco, and Rick Medvitz. Try and get that for you here in a second. The left fielder is Colasar. And the center fielder, you got Colasar in the outfield, Aaron Hoover, and Greg Turco. Two guys playing up uh, from the T-ball league in the outfield right now and the pitch coming. Upstairs, 3-0. Three, right three balls, no strikes to count. Time called as uh, Coach Hudock will come out. There's a good look at him as John tries to have a few words of encouragement for young Ryan Medvitz. Inning uh, underway. And a base on ball for Ben Shinsky. And the pitch coming again with the 2-0 to Tyler. And he lost him. We got a first and second with nobody out. And that will bring up Aaron Yanish striding in. Infield uh, with a force play at any of the bases now. Left-handed stick, Aaron Yanish. Pitch coming. Downstairs. Brewers will have the gold numbers here today. And the Astros will have the white numerals. The uniform is very, very similar. And the pitch. Strike swinging. That a baby. Settle down nicely now. One ball, one strike. And pitch. Upstairs high. Two balls. Beautiful afternoon. We're taping this game on the Friday of Memorial Day weekend, and hopefully we're gonna have good weather the whole way. Ryan Medvitz into the windup. Swing, strike two. Nice pitch, Ryan. So Ryan Medvitz ball skips away. There's little Kayla Ashton treating it. One second. And the pitch coming. down. I'm going to bring up Josh Geekup now. Geekup, the younger brother, Dan, fine little player in the Pony League. Played in the freshman team this year, I believe it's like pitch coming. Downstairs, one ball, no strikes. So Geekup, after a couple of walks, holds on, gets a strike out. To the cleanup hitter. Side, bouncing out of it. Two balls, no strikes to count. On the hill. Ground ball, four second and through for Get to the outfield and, and, and the running score. Base hit by Geekap, right up the middle. So, run scores, make it a one nothing. So we've got first and third now, and, and very handsome. 
job here by Aaron Yanish as he's uh, delivering the ball real well now. He's throwing four out of the last five for strikes. Nice stop by Voidoffer as he trapped it beautifully. One ball, one strike. Ooh, close. 2-1. Two, Two balls, one strike to count. Nice play by Beth Boscovich in this inning. On the corner with authority. Chuck Valenic behind the plate. Richie Valenic on the bases. Pitch ball comes in, 2-2. Two, two. And the pitch. Oh, hanging in there. Good cut. Good cut. And have to do it again. He's fouled off a couple that has Hoover. Ooh, well, that was close. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. And the pitch. We got a bases loaded. Rich Kolasar, the left fielder, striding in. And a chance for a tie right here. Strike one. No balls, one strike to count. Fastball at the knees. Next pitch, the 0-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. Kolasar with the cut. And 0-2, now ball gets away, fielded by Beth. I tell you, she made a heck of a play here early in this inning for the second out. And the pitch. And strike three, swinging. Three stranded. We go to the second. One nothing in favor of the Brewer. Rediscover all the wonderful things you remember as a child. There were the great historians that shaped our country. The interesting lands and cultures around the globe. The fascinating world of science or the exciting adventures of Treasure Island and Oliver Twist. Recapture the memories when you help your child read and study at home. After all, who knows? You may learn something too. Harriman striding in and he looks like he can do some damage with that bat. He's very determined looking up there right now as Medvids misses with the first pitch. One ball, no strikes to Mike Merriman, Beth Boscovich on deck and then it'll be Johnny Schiffbauer. Swing and a miss, good cut. Count even up now, one ball, one strike. Beautiful, beautiful night. Man, we're glad we taped this one for you. Pitch coming. In the dirt. Medvitz misses inside and low. Two balls and one strike to count. Colasar, Turco, and I believe David Makar, or excuse me, Colasar, uh, Turco, and swing and a miss, Aaron Hoover, the outfield. And the pitch coming. And down on strike, so one up, one down. That'll bring up Beth Boscovich. <laughs> Beth Boscovich striding in, and the pitch coming to Beth. Strike call. Nice job by Medvitz. I tell you, he's settled down. Issued a couple uh, walks early, a base hit, and another walk, and since then he's been uh, doing the job. Just missed outside to Beth. Beth made a fine defensive play in the home half of the first inning when she speared a line drive. And the pitch. Strike two. Good pitch. So Medvitz and Matrish in the battery. And they jump ahead here. These two teams getting together for the second time, I believe. The first game saw the uh, 
Brewers win it. And down on strike. So two up, two down. Nice job. And that'll bring up John Schiffbauer now, the left fielder. Pitch coming. Missed upstairs. One ball, no strike. 212 down the left field line. 200 down the right field line. And uh, a good 230 to the foul flagpole in center. Strike call. So Medvitz heating it up here this inning. Good control. And uh, Matrician looks a little more confident back here this inning. Swing and a miss. So out to a 1-2 count now. And the pitch coming. Into the wind up and oh, just off the plate. Mr. Valenic took a long look at that one and then just brushed the hand to the right, which means it was outside. And down on strikes. Strike three swinging to retire the side. A one, two, three. We go to the bottom of the second, and it's one nothing in favor of the Brewers. Bullet Garages, the world's largest garage builder, is proud to be a sponsor of tonight's South Union Township Sports Network Youth Athletic Event. Located on Route 51 at the stoplight in Star Junction, Bullet Garages has constructed system-built quality garages in the immediate area since 1952. Manager John F. Hudoff and his professional staff invite you to stop by and see for yourself our wide display of custom garages. Our large volume enables us to buy materials in large quantities allowing us to sell a superior product at a reduced price. With over 185,000 satisfied customers, you probably have a neighbor who parks in a bullet garage. Enhance the value and the appearance of your home with a bullet garage. Financing is available, and you can own a two-car garage for less than $120 a month. For a limited time only, free vinyl siding is being offered on any size garage. Please call us at 736-2008 for more information and a free on-site inspection. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. It's coming as we move to the bottom of the second. Andrew Matrician. And the count goes to one ball and two strikes now. Andrew the catcher wearing number 19. And here's the pitch. Downstairs, count should even up now. Two balls, two strikes. Aaron Hoover, I believe, on deck. And then young Greg Turco. Pitch. Upstairs. Three balls, two strikes. And the pitch. He got him. Nice pitch. One up, one down to Aaron Hoover. Aaron, we're number 13, up from the T-ball league. And I think Aaron is playing out in right field today. And he's wearing the Astros uniform. Swing and a miss. Good cut. No balls. One strike to count. And the pitch. Downstairs. Number 24, Turco on deck. Young Greg. Wearing a red uniform up from the T-ball. Strike two as he went around. And the pitch. And down on strikes for the second now. And Turco hustling up to the plate now as we play in the bottom of the second. A one nothing ball game. Top of the order will be up next half for the Brewers. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. With good control, Turco. Swing and a miss, strike two by Greg. I think he played a lot of uh, indoor soccer the last few years and did a fine job. Oh, good cut. And he stays alive with the foul ball. Greg Turco. And on deck, the top of the order of Medvich, who hit the ball hard the first time up. Oh, I'll tell you, he's throwing a little bit of heat now, Jerry. Looks a little stronger this inning. In the dirt. 
Two balls, two strikes. Richie Valenic down the right field line. And the pitch. Ground ball foul. And the pitch fouled. Chaz Bondarenko came to uh, get it. The pitch. Ball three. Chaz Bondarenko at first base. And the full count, 3-2. All right, Timmy, or Greg Turco, rather, fouls it off. Little equipment adjustment, time called. First baseman. Chaz Bondarenko. Tying the shoes on the left shoe here, and now we're ready. So to count, three balls, two strikes. Good inning so far for Aaron. Ground ball up to the hill. Nice play by Aaron. And his throw across is good. So Aaron Yanish, beautiful job with the ground ball. And he flipped it on to Chaz Bondarenko for the third out. We go now to the third inning. And we've got a one nothing ball game. Inside your mind, there's a map of where you want to go in life. This map's not plotted along cities and highways, but along college educations, comfortable retirements, and new cars. You know where you're going. You just need a partner to connect you with the right financial services and advice. Take control of your financial future. Follow your own lead. We move now to the third inning and top of the order Ben Shinsky, Tyler Palermo and then Aaron Yanish to face Ryan Medvitz. I think the last inning Jerry I didn't flip my stat sheet uh, and might have referred to uh, uh, Aaron Yanish as Ryan Medvitz and Aaron has pitched a uh, heck of a last inning so Medvitz who has pitched real well in this inning there's a shot right center field this ball could roll and He's going to hustle for second, and he'll be in with a double. So Ben Shinsky with a ringing double to right center field. And Aaron Hoover over there tracked it down. That'll ring up Tyler Palermo. Foul ball. That's the third time we've seen that one today. So Tyler Palermo looking to go against Ryan Medvitz. No balls, one strike. And the pitch coming inside. Count even now, one and one. Ryan Medvitz and Andrew Matrician. Your battery with Joe Hoover, Turco, Ashton, and Hoot off the infield. The outfield shows Colasar, Turco, and Aaron Hoover. Count now at two balls and one strike to Tyler Palermo. Here's the pitch coming. Strike called. Good pitch across the corner, 2-2. Two -two. In the third inning, just underway. Swing and a miss, down on strikes. One down, that'll bring up Aaron Yanish. Aaron Yanish striding in. Left-handed stick against Medvitz. Swing and a miss. Aaron down on strikes the first time. Boy, pitch, pitching a beautiful game here now as we play here in the third. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Lead off double by uh, Ben Shinsky. And he's down at second. There's one lifted towards left field. This is a base hit. Coming up is Colasar to get to it. And going to be a play at second. No. The throw down there. I'll tell you who handles the ball real well is Kayla Ashton. And a double to the outfield and a run scored. And that'll bring up Josh Gitep. Josh has one for one on the day. Oh, nice pitch by Ryan. He's loosening up. Two pitchers as we move further into this ballgame appear to be throwing much harder. 
The 0 1 coming to Gitep. He singled his first time up. Lifts a pop up towards short. Oh, the ball hit the glove of Turco. And a nice try. Just couldn't quite hang on. So Gitep aboard. And that puts runners at first and third. And that'll ring up Gary Mansbury. Mansbury walked his first time. 2 nothing ball game in the pitch. Ball in the dirt. Mr. Valenic will track it down. Into the wind up and the pitch coming. Ground ball up towards short. Turco with the scoop. Spin it on. Oh, close play. And they're going to be a play at third and second as the runners move up. And the play at second on the tag play by Matt Turco as they hustle the ball in. And Mansbury cut down. And runner down at third is Gitep. So a run in. And it'll bring up Zach Voidoffer, who lined out. Oh, good cut. Good cut Zach. Watch the ball. Big Zach Voidoffer with a pop-up his first time. Three-nothing ball game now. Just beat it, Zach. Nice tag play at second by Turco. Matt got the tag down on Mansbury. There's one lifted in the air towards left field. Left fielder coming up. Oh, good try out there by young Rich Kolasar. And Zach's going to head towards second, and he'll make it. Run comes in to score. So Voitoffer with the base hit. And that'll ring up Chaz Bondarenko. And the pitch to Chaz. Swing and a miss. Medvitz. Keep your eye on the ball the whole way. That's a good cut. With his ball club leading it now. Or trailing, rather. A good cut. Three runs in in the inning. And scoreboard shows three nothing. I think it's four. Swing and a foul. We're in the third. Good ball game so far. This is the midget leaders. This is the nine and ten year olds. They move up next year to the 11 and 12. Good cut as he hangs in there with two down and a foul. Come on, watch the ball all the way. Put the bat on the middle. Of it. Inning got underway. Shinsky doubled. Also a double by Yonish and Gitap. Strike three called, and we're out of the inning. And three come across. Make it a four-nothing game as we go to the bottom of the third. Brewers on top. John, located at 96 East Main Street, Uniontown, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its continuing coverage of area youth and high school athletics. Established in 1968 by founder Bernard T. John, attorneys Bernard T. John, Simon B. John, and Ann John McDyer are joined by their support staff of Robin Hill, Pam Kahn, and Lori Knapp in providing the best personalized legal service available to you. This outstanding law firm has provided legal advice and expertise to area residents in the fields of civil law, real estate, criminal and DUI defense, social security workman's comp, and personal injury suits, and wills and probate estate. Office hours are 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday, and evening and Saturday appointments are also available. For more information, please call the law firm of John & John at 438-85. Aaron Yanish, who has settled down beautifully and has pitched a uh, strong two innings. Works here to the top of the order in the third. Just upstairs, Ryan Medvitz, Matt Turco, and Daniel Hudock to follow. Here's the pitch coming. In the dirt. I'll tell you, Voitoffer looks real nice back here. Has the soft hands. Still like to see him close that uh, right fist up. Ground ball. Rip to third. Nice play, Tyler. Across and Bondarenko with the stretch and on base now with the base hit. That's Medvitz. Good play by Tyler Palermo. I'll tell you, it was a beauty. And he gunned it across and just couldn't quite make the play. Going to bring up Matt Turco now. Young Matt walked. I'll tell you, Medvitz lined a second. He's singled. Upstairs, I'll tell you, Aaron Yanish throwing well this inning. 
Janish and Voitoffer, the battery. Palermo, Gitep, Boscovich, and Bondarenko. Here's one lifted to left field. This one is going to roll beyond, and Medved should get the third. Going to be a play to throw coming. And no, a double. Ripped by Matt Turco. So that puts runners at second and third with nobody out and brings up Daniel Hudock. And the pitch, swing and a foul. Daniel got aboard the first time. On a walk. And Hudock, after two big base hits here, a chance to do some damage. Downstairs, 1-1. One, one. Daniel Hudock, even up in the count. Aaron Janich, with some encouragement, yelled in from behind him. Missed inside. Two balls, one strike. And the pitch. Ground ball, deflected, and base hit. Nice job by Gitep, and a run across. Nice play, and a base hit. So Hudock picks up the RBI. And you got a first and third with nobody down. Ryan Medvedge crosses the plate, and that brings up Kayla Ashton, a strikeout victim. Downstairs, one ball, no strikes. 4-1 is your score. Strike called. And the pitch. Jerry, I think this is a young lady that was quite the good little basketball yeah. player, isn't it? Yeah. She and I remember Abby Martin, who also is playing out here. Strike two call. Two balls, two strikes, nobody down. Runners at the corners. And the pitch coming. And down on strikes. One down. Bring up Joe Hoover, 0 for 1 on the day. Good hustle, Kayla. Good try. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Hoover. And Andrew Matrician, I believe, on deck. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 0 2. Joe Hoover, left handed stick. And the pitch. Upstairs. Into the wind up and the pitch. Down, nice scoop by Voithofer. Like the way he handles himself back here. Dug that one out very easily. Now the pitch. Another nice soft play as the ball hits the dirt. I think the count should be full up now, 3-2. On Hoover, and the pitch coming. And all down on strikes. Strike call, two down. Bring up it. Rich Colasar striding in, it is. And the pitch. Is downstairs, so Colasar. And the pitch, swing and a miss. He went after one upstairs. One ball, one strike, four, one ball game. And the pitch to Colasar, in the dirt, good scoop. Pitch coming. Strike two call. Andrew Matrician on deck. And upstairs, count will even up now. Nope, full count rather. 3 2. And the pitch. And he walked him. Bases are loaded. So you get first, second, and third occupied. And that'll bring up Andrew Matrician, I believe. Matrician will stride up, and he's hustling to get in there. Had to take some of the catching equipment off. 
4-1 ball game. We're in the third. On the hill, Aaron Yanish. And the pitch. Strike call. Good fastball. And the pitch. Hits the plate. One ball, one strike. Pitch coming. Upstairs, 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike. And the pitch. Strike two called right through the heart. So Aaron Yanish working in a hurry. And the pitch. And out on strikes. Good job to get out of the inning. But a run comes across. 4-1 now as we go to the fourth. These young people are the key to our future. The law firm of Davis & Davis is proud to support the youth of the communities where we live and work. Davis & Davis is committed to Fayette County's future leaders, the children, who offer all of us a world of promise. We're ready to roll here as we go to the fourth, a 4-1 ball game. It'll be Merriman, Boscovich, and Matt Festa. As we've had some changes, Mr. Merriman just got him up to me. So the pitch in the dirt. Ryan Medvitz, who has pitched very well here today. And control in the first inning cost him a run and a couple of tough defensive plays in the third inning. Otherwise, we're looking at about a one run or a tie game. Inside. 2-0. Into the windup. Swing and a miss. Nice cut. Two balls, one strike. Two balls, one strike to count. Mike Merriman striding in. And the pitch. Strike two, swing in. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two, the pitch. And down on strike. So one down, and it'll bring up Beth Boscovich. And it'll bring up Beth Boscovich. Come on, Beth. Pitch coming. In the dirt, ball one. One ball, no strikes. We're playing here in the fourth inning. Game moving along fairly good pace. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Nice cut there by Beth. Made a fine defensive play here today. And the pitch just missed away. Two balls and one strike. Two one pitch coming. Did that hit her? No. Okay, three balls and one strike. On deck, it'll be number three. I think it's Matt Festa. Ball four. So Matt stride into the plate now. So Boscovich are board on a walk. So I want to double check. Uh, I know there were some testers that played some ball down there, but uh, the coaches said this was Matt, Matt Mac Festa. So I think it's McKenzie. And Mac striding in. Okay, Mac. 1-0, oh, the count. He will move into left field. Or rather, he'll go to first base. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good cut. One ball, one strike. Boscovich down here at first base. And the pitch. Upstairs high. 
Jerry, we're going to make an effort here in the next few weeks. Uh, maybe next week, pick up a Pony League game or two also, if we can work something out schedule-wise and weather-wise. Inside, off the plate. Three balls and one strike. From Mack, digging in. And the pitch. Okay. Swing and a miss. So, full count now, 3-2. Ryan Medvitz pitching a beautiful game here. And the pitch. Downstairs, so the ball four. Puts runners at first and second and brings up the top of the order. Ben Shinsky to be followed by Palermo. And uh, Colby Lecky will hit in place of Aaron Yanish. Boy, Aaron pitched a nice game too. Downstairs, Shinsky has walked and scored, doubled and scored. Led the game off by walking. Led the third game off, uh, third inning off rather with a double. Both innings came around to score. Ground ball, gonna be a tough play. And hustling to the bag, beautiful play. Joe Hoover, heads up. Nice play physically to field it, good play mentally, even better to get to the bag. So two down. Boscovich retired on the fielder's choice. And that'll bring up Tyler Palermo. Swing and a miss. 4-1 ball game. It's been a good one. And the pitch. And into the net. So 0-2. And Medvitz ahead of him. Uh, Trying to get out of this without any damage. 4-1 game here in the fourth. This has been a nice ball game. And the pitch coming. And down on strikes to end the inning. So another good inning for uh, Ryan Medvitz. And we go now to the bottom of the fourth. 4-1 is your score. Brewers on top. Bullet Garage is the world's largest garage builder. Is proud to be a sponsor of tonight's South Union Township Sports Network Youth Athletic Event. Located on Route 51 at the stoplight in Star Junction, Bullet Garages has constructed system-built quality garages in the immediate area since 1952. Manager John F. Hudock and his professional staff invite you to stop by and see for yourself our wide display of custom garages. Our large volume enables us to buy materials in large quantities allowing us to sell a superior product at a reduced price. With over 185,000 satisfied customers, you probably have a neighbor who parks in a bullet garage. Enhance the value and the appearance of your home with a bullet garage. Financing is available, and you can own a two-car garage for less than $120 a month. For a limited time only, free vinyl siding is being offered on any size garage. Please call us at 736-2008 for more information and a free on-site inspection. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Lucky on the hill, and I'll tell you, waste no time. Throws a strike. Aaron Hoover in the Astro uniform, striding up for his second go-round. Upstairs. I'll tell you, there's some pitching depth on this Brewers team, 5-0 and on the year. Fred Voithofer, Ed Merriman, and Dan Gietep the coaches, and I tell you, you've got the fine effort today. Strike two call from Aaron Yonich and Colby Lecky throwing well, and their big gun at shortstop, uh, Josh Gietep. And down on strikes, three quick ones. So Hoover down, gonna bring up Turco as we play here in the bottom of the fourth. Greg grounded out to the mound. Into the wind up, swing and a miss. And we check with Mac between innings. It is Mac Festa over here at first. Colby Lecky on the hill and strike two. And in the outfield, Chaz Bondarenko and left. Those are, those are the changes. So Palermo, Gitep, Boscovich, and Festa the infield. And ground ball, right side. Coming up is Beth. Got it. Nice play. Boscovich to Festa. So two down. Beautiful play by Beth. I tell you, she can play. And the infield, Palermo, Gitep, Boscovich, and Festa. The outfield, Bondarenko, Merriman, Shinsky, and Mansbury. And Colby Lucky and Zach Voidoff for the battery. Strike one already, I guess. We turned away to Turco as he strides in. 
Strike two. Matt has doubled. I tell you, nice arm here, Jerry. Colby Leckie throws real well, and he's thrown one ball to the first. Uh, oh, just miss. So Colby throwing real well. And the pitch. Down on strikes. That's about as fast as you can go. A one, two, three. We will roll to the fifth now. And we've got a 4-1 game. The need for legal services may come unexpectedly. And when it does, you should look for certain qualifications in a law firm. They should be well established, experienced in all aspects of the law. They should be easy to talk to, helping you understand your rights and options in layman's terms. They should have a well-rounded, knowledgeable support staff and an involvement in and understanding of the communities they serve. They should have all the qualities you'll find at Davis & Davis, a team of professionals working for you. Vids will work here as we go to the fifth, and I think it's Colby Lecky striding in. We had a very impressive half inning on the hill. So if my arithmetic is right, this is Lecky, Yeetap, and Mansbury. And it is. So the 1-0 coming. Ryan Medved is pitching a nice game. And the pitch. Swing and a cut. One and one. Good hard swing. And 2-1 now. We will have our next telecast uh, featuring a Little League game, and it will be the Mariners and, I believe, the White Sox. And the pitch. Remember our schedule. Uh, Wednesdays at 6 o'clock on 47, Sundays at 6.05 on Helicon Cable Systems Channel 47. John Kazarek here, along with Jerry DuPay for South Union Township Sports Inside, ball four. I want to thank the fine people with the Hart Baseball League helping sponsor tonight's ball game. President Daryl Tellerico, Vice President Jim Dice, Secretary Tom Rice, and your treasurer, Mr. Bugger Gaddis. So thanks to these fine gentlemen and the entire Hark organization for all of their cooperation. Pitch downstairs to Gitep. Josh has a couple of base hits and has scored a run, has driven in a run. And a pitch coming. Missed outside. Two balls. No strikes to count. As we battle here into the fifth inning. And the 2-0 is coming. Oh, nice cut and a foul tip. Two balls, one strike. Nice pitch by Ryan Medvids. Gitep with good athletic ability. And the pitch. Oh, he went after that one. Nice pitch, Ryan. 2-2. Two -two. Colby Lucky down here at first. And the pitch coming. Here's one lifted towards right field. Yes, nice play. Going to be a double play. You bet. Kayla Ashton to Daniel Hudock for the double play. And that was a beauty. Nice play, Kayla. Jerry's got the camera right on her as well he should. Fine play. Oh, beautiful play by Kayla. And a nice play by Daniel Hudock over here at first base. So two down. I'm going to ring up Mansbury. <clears throat> Ground ball, right side, and nice play here by Ashton to throw. No, good backup play by Kayla as the ball skipped in behind Hudock. So two down. Good backup by Kayla Ashton. She's made two nice plays here in this inning alone. Swing and a miss. Zach Voidoffer has popped up and doubled. So, Kayla Ashton having a heck of a day here today. In the dirt. Nice stop by the plate umpire. I tell you, Mr. Valenic has used that chest protector to his extreme benefit here today. 
And the pitch. Whoa, a little chin music right there. Close shave. Backs him out at two and one. Andrew Matrician, Ryan Medvids, the battery, Hudock, Ashton, Turco, and Hoover, the infield, Colasar, Greg Turco, and Aaron Hoover, the outfield. And the pitch. One hit high and deep, left field. This ball's hit a ton, and it'll hit one hop the fence. Out there's Colasar to get to it. And gonna be a play at the plate if they hustle. The throw, no. It won't get him. So a big bombing double. The left field by Voitoffer. Whoa, he unloaded. Just missed taking it out. I tell you, ball just short. Right out there near the Cherry Tree Square New York Pizza signs. I'll tell you, he really put a charge in it. Thought for a second it had a shot, and it almost did. Get out of here. So here's, I think this is Chaz Bondarenko. So make it a 5-1 ball game. <clears throat> and the pitch. In the dirt. Ball one. One ball, no strike. So void offer with the big blast. As we play here in the fifth inning. Bondarenko to be followed by Merriman, then Boscovich and Mac Festa. Strike, strike call. Now you ready. One ball, one strike. See, Mr. Gitap has made it here today. And the pitch. I think I might have mistakenly referred to uh, Josh's older brother as Dan. I think the father's name is Dan. And Josh's brother, it's Justin Gitep that's up in the pony bracket. Swing and a miss. So Chaz went after the high fastball. You gotta protect now, you got two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Joe Hoover's made a nice play at third here today. I'll tell you, it's been a well defended game. And down on strikes to end it, but a run across, and we go now to the bottom of the fifth. We're looking at a 5 1 game in favor of the Brewers. You are a visionary. Beyond today's sales projections and balance sheets, you see the successes your company will achieve. You've mapped out your goals. Now you need a partner who shares your vision and has the creativity and financial resources to get you there. Take control of your company's future. Follow your own. And we will move to the fifth inning now. Bottom half of... Colby Lecky, throwing real well, and the swing, and Matt Turco to the plate. On deck, Daniel Hudock. Here's one lifted to short, and a base hit, this one will skip out there. Good try by the shortstop, and the throw comes in. Gitap went for it. Matt Turco. With the base hit. It'll bring up Hudock now. Daniel has walked and singled. And the pitch. Swing it one upstairs. Daniel Hudock, who has singled and walked. So he's hit the ball well and had a nice day. Coming right at us, and foul. So the count now, that 0-2. Lead off base hit by Turco, Hudock striding in. And the pitch in the dirt. Nice scoop by Voidoffer. He's had a nice game defensively, and as we said, almost homered here today. Which is almost strike three call. So one down. Bring up Kayla Ashton. Boy, she had a nice day in the field. Nice look at Kayla here. And the pitch. Missed upstairs. 
Ball one and a pitch. Upstairs, 2-0. Joe Hoover on deck. 2-0 count as Colby Lucky delivers. Now resets in the pitch. In the dirt. 3-0 the count. We're into the fifth inning. And 3-0. Oh, got away from him. So a walk. And that'll bring uh, a first and second situation with one down. And that should and does bring up Joe Hoover. Strike one. He tried to get out of the way, but bat flew around. Joe Hoover, 0 for 2 on the day. Missed outside. Colby Leckie in relief of Aaron Yanish, who pitched such a fine first three innings. And on the other flip side, Ryan Medved's doing a good job. Upstairs, 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike. If they can get a run or two here, they can get back in it, maybe. Strike called. Looking at 2-2 two, two on the count. Into the windup, Colby coming. Just away, nice play by Voidhofer. Two balls, two strikes. And the pitch. Full count, 3-2. And down on strikes. Goes Mr. Hoover. So will bring up Rich Colasar. Colasar striding in. And pitch. Strike called inside corner. Rich Colasar. One appearance. Walked, and the pitch coming. Ooh. Andrew Matrician, I believe, on deck. Colasar striding in. 1-1. One, one. Upstairs. Two balls, one strike. And the pitch coming. Strike two, he went around. Two balls, two strikes. And the next pitch. And we're out of the inning on the called strike. So let's go now to the top of the sixth. And we're looking at a 5-1 game in favor of the Brewers. The law firm of John & John, located at 96 East Main Street, Uniontown, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its continuing coverage of area youth and high school athletics. Established in 1968 by founder Bernard T. John, attorneys Bernard T. John, Simon B. John, and Ann John McDyer are joined by their support staff of Robin Hill, Pam Kahn, and Lori Knapp in providing the best personalized legal service available to you. This outstanding law firm has provided legal advice and expertise to area residents in the fields of civil law, real estate, criminal and DUI defense, social security, workman's comp, and personal injury suits, and wills and probate estate. Office hours are 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday, and evening and Saturday appointments are also available. For more information, please call the law firm of John & John at 438-8560. Michael Merriman striding in. Uh, upstairs, one ball, no strikes. Merriman, Boscovich, and Festa striding in. As we play here in the Sixth inning. That's it, Mike. Rip one, Mike. Into the windup, and the pitch coming. Downstairs in the dirt. Rich Valenic down the right field line. Thought of his brother uh, the other day when we did the Con or the LH uh, playoff game. Strike called. Marty was, had to be about seven or eight years ago. Uh, homered and went the distance in a WPIL opening playoff win, and I think it was over Derry. It's had to be about 89 or 90, I believe. And I'll tell you, that field has been good to LH until uh, last week when Derry beat him by the count of 2 nothing. Ground ball down the third base side. Coming up with it is Hoover. Guns across. Got him. Nice play, Hoover to Hudock. 
and like the Hoover vacuum, he just swept that one clean. There's a nice look at. I tell you, he's made two fine plays. One down. And bring up Beth Boscovich. She's been tough here today. Nice play. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Rather see her hacking. That's a bad pitch to go after out of the zone, I guess, but uh, still rather see up her taking that cut. And the pitch. Strike two called. Ryan Medvitz has pitched a beauty here today. He's working in his last inning. And Hoover's played well. Turco, Kayla Ashton's done well. Strike three. I tell you, the two girls at second base have been outstanding. Bring up Matt Festa now. He walked. And pitch coming. Oh, just missed. When we go to the last inning, it'll be Matrician, Hoover, and Turco. And the pitch upstairs had Mr. Valenic ducking. Boy, Jerry, about time we had some good weather out here. We have been rained out of several. Missed away. And this one will be in the books as a completed game, I'm sure. 3-0 on Mac Festa with Ben Shinsky to follow. Ryan Medvitz. And he lost him. So after two quick outs, a walk, and now the top of the order. This is where the damage has been done. Ben Shinsky has walked, doubled, and aboard on a fielder's choice. Tyler Palermo on deck. Strike call. Ben Shinsky walked to lead off the game, came around to score on a base hit, I believe, by Gitep, and he doubled leading off the third. Scored on Yanish's base hit. Swing and a miss. So Ben Shinsky with a good rip. No balls, two strikes. Two down here in the sixth. John Kazarek, Jerry Dupay for the South Union Township Sports Network. And the pitch. All right, good cut. Staying alive. <laughs> Kayla Ashton yelling in some encouragement to Ryan. I'll tell you, she's had a nice game. Just away. One ball, two strikes, two down. In the sixth, and it's 5-1. Here's the pitch. Oh, it, whoops, inside, 2-2. Two, two. You might have heard uh, the batter, I believe. Ben Shinsky, and it brings a chuckle to Mr. Voitoffer down at the third base coaching box. And the pitch. And we're going to the last of the six now after the strikeout. And 5-1, Brewers on top, Astros last go-round. We are rolling to the last inning. Last go-round here as Colby Leckie will try and shut the door on the Astros. Matrician, Hoover, and Turco. And the pitch inside. I'll tell you, the thing that impressed me today, Jerry, for Midget League, not a whole lot of walks. These guys threw strikes. I tell you, all three pitchers have been sharp. 2-0. Aaron Yanish, uh, Colby Lucky, and Ryan Medvids of all had outstanding control. And just as I say that, he, he runs it out to 3-0. And all you need is three outs, is what the catcher said. Ball four. That'll bring up Aaron Hoover now. Aaron Hoover to the plate, number 13. Swing and a foul. That old boy, Aaron, hanging in there. No balls, one strike after the foul ball. He digs in in the pitch. Strike call. 
Can you pick up some American Legion games here this year? Saw Mr. Bob McClellan today. He gave me the schedule. Strike three. And that's going to be a fine ball club. A lot of Laurel Highlands kids on that ball club. And picking up some fine Geibel players, too, in uh, Wilson, Mirtha, and O'Hearn, among others, I believe. So we should give you a few of those. Strike called after missing with four. He gets three uh, for a strikeout and leads off against Turco with a strike. Did he go? No, he wanted to go. He had that trigger cocked, but didn't let it rip. He did right there. One ball, two strikes on Turco. And down on strikes. Now to the top of the order in the last gasp right now. Ryan Medvitz, who has hit the ball well, lined the second, singled and scored and grounded to second. So he has given Beth Boscovich uh, some business down here upstairs. And Beth has responded. I tell you, she has played a heck of a game, as has Kayla Ashton. Oh, this one's lifted in the air, right center field. And what a play to end the inning. I think that's Michael Merriman. Mike Merriman with the catch on the fly ball by the uh, last hitter, Ryan Medved. So 5-1 your final. The uh, Brewers defeat the Astros. And I'm John Kazarek with Jerry Dupay reminding you that South Union Township Sports Network coverage has been brought to you as a joint cooperative venture involving Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rock Koval, and Tom Frankhauser, and of course, Helicon Cable Systems under the direction of Regional Manager Mr. Craig Tomchek. I'm John Kazarek for Jerry Dupay, bidding you a very pleasant good evening. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.